Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing diabetic retinopathy. So we're still discussing the structure of the eye. Okay, so uh, we've done the sclera. Now there's another layer uh, that is more peripheral than the retina. So we're not doing the retina yet. This next yet layer is going to be the choroid, okay? So here it comes around, and the choroid is then continuous with uh, the ciliary body. Now, where am I going to put the ciliary body? How far should I go? I'll come out like here. So this is then the ciliary body here. So I'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll have the choroid coming around here, and I'll cover this in red in a moment so it's easily distinguishable from the sclera behind it. Okay, and then we want to be coming out about now to form the ciliary body here. Okay, right, and now I'll get my red pen and colour this in. So, this layer here, which I'm now highlighting in red, is the choroid, and it is continuous then with the ciliary body, which is a muscle, and also uh, a gland that secretes the aqueous humour, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, so here we go. And then here's the choroid on this side. Whoops, I'm missing it a little bit. Uh, and then continue round like so, and here is the ciliary body here. Right, okay, so let's uh, label this clearly up. So this is the choroid further back, okay, and that surrounds the entire eye, and of course we're only seeing a cross-section here. I should have said that right at the beginning. We are seeing a cross-section. I assume you've seen something like this before. I'm imagining we've taken a vertical cross-section, basically, so uh, if I just draw a little face here, like so, here are the eyes, one, two. We've basically taken a cross section like this, uh, a coronal section, if you like, and we're looking at what we would see if we then opened, you know, split the eye in two and had a look at what we'd uh, cut into. Okay, right, and this portion up here, this is the ciliary body or the ciliaris muscle. Right, okay, so the final layer then is the retina, and this is continuous with the nervous tissue of uh, the um, optic nerve down there. So here comes the retina, and then it will, well, after the retina's finished, what you'll then have is the suspensory ligaments, uh, whoops, no, that needs to be continuous with this, uh, which will then hold uh, the lens in position, basically. So here, this is the retina coming around here, and then we'll have uh, the suspensory ligaments like so, I'll just draw two of them, okay, and then we'll have the lens in here, like so. There we go, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, that's gone better than it would usually go. So this is the lens, um, just complete that suspensory ligament up. Uh, this is a suspensory ligament, and then I'll colour in the retina in yellow in a moment. So these are the suspensory ligaments. I'll give the ink time to dry before I smudge it all with the yellow highlighter. Right, okay, so let's have a look. Let's now colour in the nervous tissue in yellow. So here is the nervous tissue within the optic nerve, and that central bit that I've left blank, that is what's going to be um, the cavity through which the central um, artery and the central vein which supply uh, the um, retina with blood uh, are going to move through. Okay, and then I want this side as well, so here we go. That's the nervous tissue within the optic nerve, and then here's the retina here, becoming the suspensory ligaments as we go around. Okay, so let's uh, label up the retina, very important part. Um, so we will study the structure of the retina in much more detail in a moment, okay? And then through this central canal in the middle here, what we will then have is an artery coming through here, which is called the central artery, okay? And then we'll have a vein also coming through here, and these are the arteries and the veins, uh, well, this is the artery and the vein which supplies uh, the retina. Okay, so these are the central artery and the central vein of the retina, if you want to be specific. Central artery and vein. Okay, right, so what else do we need to add? Well, we need to finish off what we've got up here. Okay, so we now need to add in the iris. So I'll put in the iris here. Okay, and this is the bit that uh, makes your eye appear coloured. This is the coloured bit of your eye. 
okay, with the pupil right at the center through which light will move. Now, I might, just to make a point, I might color the iris in blue. So you'd have blue eyes in this case. Okay, so this is the iris here. And then the gap in the middle of the iris here, it's a circular muscle. It's an annulus of muscle, really. Okay, and uh, that's called the pupil. Right, so now let's just have a little bit more terminology. Okay, so this great big chamber that you have from the lens backwards, all of this space here, this is what's known as the vitreous chamber. So this is the vitreous chamber. Okay, and it is full of a group called the vitreous uh, fluid, basically, but it's not really a fluid. It's a, um, if you've ever done dissection of the eye, you'll know what it is. It's like a, it's like a very viscous jelly, basically. A jelly is probably the best uh, word to describe it, okay? Um, but it's called vitreous humor, okay? And humor implies that it's a fluid, but it's not. It's a jelly, really. Vitreous humor. It's much more solid than a fluid. It's not like water. It's, it's a jelly, Okay, and uh, then in this, uh, well, this bit here that is continuous. So, okay, so this portion here, this chamber that we have behind the cornea but in front of the iris, this is known as the anterior chamber. Okay, so it's in front of the iris. Now, it's, pos it's um, continuous with something called the posterior chamber. So, hopefully you'll realize that there is a little chamber between the iris here and the lens, there is this little space in here, and you have this space continuous with the anterior chamber through the pupil. So if you, you've got a little man in the anterior chamber, he can get into this other chamber, which is called the posterior chamber, and I might just label it here where there's a space. So this is the posterior chamber. He can get into the posterior chamber by going through the pupil, basically. Now, uh, the anterior and posterior chamber are full of aqueous humor. Okay, and this aqueous humor is produced uh, by uh, the ciliary body. And it should, I'm sorry, it's not humor spelled like that. It's humor with no U. Okay, humor, uh, meaning fluid, a bodily fluid. Okay, right. So this is the structure of the eye. Okay, so here is the eye. Now, what we'll do now is study in more detail the structure of the retina, because that's where retinopathy is going to occur. It's a disease of the retina, basically. Okay, so, basically, if you take an ophthalmoscope and look at the back of someone's eye, I just want to now show you what you basically see, a few important landmarks. This is going to be important when we want to discuss what macular edema is, okay? So, if you look into someone's eye with an ophthalmoscope, what do you see? Well, you're going to see the retina, basically. You're going to see this portion of the retina back here, okay? Now, firstly, you see a yellow portion down here, okay? And most of it looks orange. I'll colour in most of it in a moment. But there's a very yellow portion here that's very easily distinguishable. And if you type in on Google, uh, you know, retina, you'll get up these sort of pictures. Okay, so there's this yellow bit. And it's always sort of, and I should tell you which eye we're looking in. So we are now looking in the patient's right eye. So remember, it's always on the patient's uh, side. So right eye. So the patient's right eye. Okay. And if we were looking in the left eye, so I'll draw the left eye here now. Okay. Like so. Then this portion would be towards this side. So it's always towards the nose, towards the center, or medially is the fancy anatomical uh, way of saying that. Okay. And these are known as the optic disc. Okay. So both of these are optic discs. So each eye has one optic disc. And basically, this is where the optic nerve arrives. So this is this portion that I've colored in yellow here. You appreciate that there's a large yellow portion here. Okay, and uh, this is basically the nerve head. Okay, so it's when the nerve arrives uh, and is continuous with the retina, basically. Okay, you also have a special portion here, which is darker than the rest of the retina. So I'll color in the rest of the retina, and then we'll discuss this portion that's darker. Okay, and I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit. Right, there we go. Uh, so. Colouring the rest of the retina in, in orange here. 
like so. Okay, and basically this special portion at the center which is darker, this is known as the macule or the macula, okay? Um, so we'll call this the macule. And basically, uh, this, it contains the fovea. So within it, as part of it, you have the fovea. So a subset of the macule is the fovea. It's not all the fovea. Uh, but basically, it's a portion... Well, the macule, you could define the macule long before you knew anything about the fovea. It's just this portion where you look through an ophthalmoscope, and then uh, you see it as darker, basically. Okay, so I'll colour it in red to show that it's darker.